today at the 25th of June in 2023 is going to mark two important occurrences um, for Plainview. First of all, today was graduation day. Um, congratulations to all the seniors for graduating. They will be going on into college um, this August and September. And we'll have a new group of seniors to deal with. Also, I become a junior. So that's nice. Um, also, as graduation, me and the other people chosen to be in the ensemble are going to be the, um, this is going to be like our last time being in a school. Now, it's a band related thing going to graduation. So technically, for most of us, we will be heading back in August on the 23rd and the 25th to do multi-man practice. I won't be though. Now, it's always been that vacation is always causing to miss some practices. That's always been the case. Um, like in, when I was in freshman year, I was able to go to the freshman orientation on August 19th, but I had to miss the 20th and the 25th, and then I went to the 26th. 27th I missed, but that was not because I was on vacation in Pittsburgh. Fun fact, the two ones I missed, one was the day that we went to Pittsburgh, the other day was the, way we, was the day that we went back from Pittsburgh. Um, and I just think it's interesting in that perspective of us going to and from Pittsburgh on that day, there was no way we could have made it back on the way home. We would have had to have left at literally um, like 1.30 in the morning for us to have made it back. We could have in theory have gone the day we went to Pittsburgh, although we would have gone there at 9 o'clock at night, which is a lot better than leaving at 1.30 in the morning, but still. And then in 2022, I had to miss the August 23rd orientation because that was the day that I was coming back home from um, Vermont. Was able to go to one of the 26. This time I'm going to be missing both of them due to vacation. Um, again, work schedule means that literally the earliest I could take a vacation is August 19th. So, that's a big reason why. Plus, we're staying for like six nights or seven nights this time, not just five. Hmm. Okay. So... Now that we got that out of our um, way, you know, I won't be seeing anyone. Unless we hang out all the summer, I literally won't be seeing anyone until September 5th, which is kind of crazy considering how casually everything ended. It wasn't really in this mode where you're not going to see people until at least September 5th. Yet, that is what happened anyway. But not wanting to get too much into my personal life. What I'm actually going to talk about instead is how this day was important in terms of the weather of 2023. So, as we know, in 2022, it took a while for any summer heat to come to us. Um, as New York City did not hit the 80s until the 21st of May. and But so did the island. As a matter of fact, most of the island wound up hitting 90 degrees on that day. Because um, with heat indexes... At about 96 because it was so the air was so sticky it was so incredibly sticky that air that um it really causes to feel it this time though summer heat came on much earlier we hit 80 degrees in the city on april 6th and the entire metro area could feel the 80s by april 12th if you um i know where my suburb is we wound up hitting 75 on that day where i was walking i believe we wound up hitting 76 um but 80s for everyone on the 12th. And by the 13th and 14th, parts of the metro even soared into the 90s. Although my suburb was at 86 and then 84. Here's the thing though. It didn't feel quite as hot as it was because of very low humidity, around 20%. In fact, this made the heat index calm down to around, I want to say like 83 at worst. I don't know what the calculations are, and I forgot what the exact dew point numbers were, but the point is the humidity was very low. Um, and when we had 80s return again on May 12th, when the high temperature hit 85 degrees, then we again wound up being put into this position of, well, there was still a bit of a negative heat index. It wound up feeling more like, I think, 83. 
the negative heat index wasn't quite as strong as in April because the humidity was more, but it was still probably in the 30s in the middle of the afternoon. There was no humid air to come up with it, which made the warm air feel a lot more bearable. Beginning of June didn't go off to the most comfortable start, but also there was this big, this enormous sea breeze. When, it hit, when we hit the 80s in the middle of April and in the, in the middle of May, it was consistent 80s everywhere. Everyone got a taste of the 80 degree temperatures. Well, more like 85 degree temperatures because that's what it w practically was on all those days. And there was humidity with, mixed in as well. June 1st, my suburb likely hit 82, but AccuWeather only puts the high at 78. June 2nd was even more extreme. AccuWeather puts the high at 81, but I can have a quarter temperature of 86. There was some humidity too, as the dew points did finally make it into the 60s. The heat index wound up hitting 87. So this is a positive heat index, not like a negative heat index, which most people don't realize you can actually have a negative heat index in the, uh, in the summer. I pointed this out on, t on Twitter um, because I slip um didn't actually have a heat index of 80 all june and the highest heat index is here before today was you know only 82 degrees but they've hit like 86 so nice i think 85 earlier this year a big reason why they struggle to ha get a high in heat index is because of the low humidity that was not the case the high today is probably going to cap off at about 83 for most of the metro, it's going to cap off at 83. Heat indexes, though, will be soaring to about 88. Now, I was inside for most of the day because of graduation, so I tore my long sleeve button down shirt and pants. And while well, I'm in short sleeves now, I actually was able to stay in pants because I was like, hmm, wasn't as bad as I thought. It's probably still in the 80s, and the heat index is probably still in the mid 80s. But once the sun angle gets down, there's really a big difference. But. Again, this is just going to be uh, the first of a sign of a long summer to come. I'm actually going to make a video saying how this summer might compare to the summer of 2021, although with a lot less rainfall, in terms of temperatures and humidity. And I feel like this is the start of where summer really is. Um, it's, it's a long road to September from here.